Brain development begins about 20 or so days after conception, all right? That's the formation of the neural tube. So right now, the public health campaign to get women to have more folic acid in their diets, that's to prevent neural tube defects. The neural tube forms in the first three weeks of, after conception before many women even know they're pregnant. From that point on, through prenatal development, the brain gets assembled in a way so that by birth, the brain looks remarkably like an adult brain, smaller, and it's not as mature, but, it's, but it, it looks like that. The big changes that occur postnatally are the wiring up of the brain. So uh, if this is a neuron and this is a neuron, two brain cells, they form a connection and that's a synapse. So there's a massive overproduction of synapses so that, for example, the baby has many times more synapses and many times more neurons than we have then the normal process is to prune those back and get rid of a lot of them. So we overproduce and then we, we prune back. The second major event that occurs postnatally is myelination. So um, if this is a synapse, one part of the synapse is called, an extension is called the axon and one is called the dendrite. The axon, in some cases, gets wrapped with this fatty substance called myelin and that makes things move faster. So the electrical impulse along an axon that has myelin is much faster than if it doesn't have myelin. Myelination occurs over the first two decades of life. In fact, uh, there's a woman at McLean who shows in some parts of the brain we're still making myelin through middle age. So the, the wiring via synapses and the uh, in, improvement in communication through myelin are the major developmental milestones. But the last thing we know is that there's a genetic program that underlies many aspects of brain development, particularly prenatally. But most aspects of postnatal brain development are driven by experience. And so the work I do in Romania, for example, studying institutionalized children, is an extreme case of when the brain is deprived of normal experiences and we see very extremes in behavior and brain function.